Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Win 11x Optimum 11. I'm actually not sure if that's the name, but I do know that it is Optimum 11. So I actually found this online while trying to search for quote good Windows 11 custom builds because I like taking a look at them to see either how good or how bad they are. So far, my favorite is Tiny 11. I'm not going to be biased. I just want to throw that out there that Tiny 11 has been my favorite so far. I really have no background on this operating system. I really don't know much about it. I haven't tested it, haven't looked into it too much. That's why we're here today, kind of take a look at it and see what's going on. Okay. So right off the bat, I can automatically tell that this is not going to be a good OS just by the fact that they used an actual image as the setup is starting background. I do not like when people do that. It's stupid. All right. We're going to go with Windows X Lite, that's the name, X Lite, Optum 11 Defender Off. We're going to install it to the virtual C drive, right there, and we're installing. So just taking a look at this installer, I don't know what this window border theme is. I don't like the fact that, I don't like that, I don't like distros that advertise their YouTube channel or anything in them, like, I, that just rubs me the wrong way. All right, and here we are inside of Windows X Lite. I'm going to go ahead and install VMware Tools so we can get a better look at this and not have it be so, you know, slow and blurry. All right, VMware Tools has installed. We're not gonna restart because everything looks pretty good, but okay, this is the Windows 11 Lite X Optimum 11 desktop. First things first, um, I like this wallpaper. I don't remember, I feel like this might be an official one from Microsoft that they released on a website, but I really like this wallpaper. Moving down to the taskbar, I'm not really sure what to think. It's a shorter taskbar, so it's not. it doesn't take as much screen real estate. Um, it does have the widgets button right there, um, but it just feels like the icons aren't scaled properly. Like yes, it's a smaller taskbar, but the icons themselves are still the same. I like the windows button, I like the search bar, but like, like these just feel like two large icons for this taskbar. Then we move over here, which is like the Windows 10, or yeah, the Windows 10 start menu, or the Windows 10 taskbar, but it opens like all the Windows 11 stuff. Pretty cool. Take a look at this start menu though. I do not like this at all. Wow, I'm actually a fan of the Windows 11 start menu, which I know I'm weird. I was a fan of the Windows 8.1 start menu, um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this start menu, but pre-installed, we have apps, or, or I'm going through folders, pre-installed, we have all the accessibility stuff, get started, settings, Windows security, in startup, there's this clear app, I don't know what it does, uh, Windows accessories, PowerShell, Windows system, regular Windows tools, and then X Lite tools, not that, I clicked the wrong button, X Lite tools, which include WinArrow, firewall on, off, print spooler, update service and optional, which is a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So look at this task, or look at this file explorer though. It's transparent, which I can't tell if I like this or not, um, but it, it looks pretty cool for now. So this install takes about 10 gigs, which I actually don't know how that compares to the real Windows 11. I don't know how much it really takes up. So I downloaded this yesterday from their website. So I just wanna see, first of all, what version of Windows are we on? We are on Windows 11 22H2, so this seems to be a pretty up-to-date version. Um, I, okay, so updates are paused, and I do know that in LightX Tools, we have the option to turn Windows Update Service on. So let's see what that does. So it looks like they actually installed, and the updates are installing. So how that would affect Windows in the future? Um, obviously, it's already affecting it. Our, start menu is gone, or not a start menu, but our search bar is gone. So like I said, Windows updates are probably gonna end up breaking stuff later down the road. Um, wow, I just can't get over how much I like this this uh, wallpaper. I might have to download it myself. Okay, so the search bar is back now, but it opens off to the right a little bit, which is a little strange. But uh, yeah, this is just a basic overview of this very interesting operating system. Um, I wouldn't say I would use it every day, just because of the fact that, um, okay, Phoenix Light OS. Are there references to Phoenix Light OS in this OS? I don't know. I got off topic, though. I wouldn't use a custom Windows OS as my daily driver just for the fact of, you know, you know, you never know what they put in them. I could scan this, but I don't really want to right now. I mean, I'm not worried about security on this. I'm more or less worried about, you know, the actual system experience. As for CPU cores and all that fun stuff, we have about 3.79. We're using about 32% of the CPU. Oh, now we're down to 15 and 5, 26. We're using 1.5 out of 2 gigs of RAM on this VM. 
So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.